What do you do when you can't see the femoral nerve? And how can we use the fascia iliaca to help us find it? We're often guilty of only showing our good blocks, where everything looks textbook. In this video, I'm going to show a near miss and some of the lessons that can be taken from it. Sure, femoral nerve blocks are plan A blocks. They're excellent for providing analgesia to the lower limb, and they're excellent at punishing overconfidence. This was a difficult patient at the end of the day with limited resources and time, as well as other, a few other excuses. As you can see by the size of the artery, this is a small adult. This is the common femoral artery. We're already above the bifurcation, so we know we're in approximately the right spot. We've had trouble identifying the nerve, and that's in spite of the usual ultrasound manipulations, respecting the fact that the femoral nerve exhibits a lot of anisotropy. So when you can't reliably find the nerve, you can use some of your knowledge of fascial anatomy to help identify a likely target. We know that the fascia lata is superficial with the artery below it. We also know that the fascia iliaca separates the artery from the nerve in this location most of the time. So we're looking for a fascial line below the artery and above the iliacus muscle. And we often see an enveloping of the femoral nerve, which we can see here. We now have to consider the needle approach we're going to take. We can come in steep next to the nerve, or more lateral, aiming for the fascia iliaca and using some local anaesthetic to hydrodissect a plane, and then advance our needle through that plane. Now we weren't absolutely confident that we'd found the nerve, and there was something not quite right. So we went with the second option, came in laterally, uh, and hydrodissected. And this is where we could have caused a nerve injury. What we're looking at now is post-injection scanning. And what we see here is the actual femoral nerve. And it's much more superficial than we had appreciated. What we can notice is that at this level, the femoral nerve has started to arborize. It started to branch out into the more peripheral branches of the nerve. We're going to pop under what is actually the fascia iliaca and put a little bit more local in there. And once that has time to spread out, it'll make the femoral nerve a lot more obvious. And interestingly, some of the um, more terminal branches of it are obvious as well. Where this happens with respect to the ingual ligament or the common femoral artery is, is quite variable. So reviewing the needle approach that we might have chosen, this trajectory is going straight towards the nerve. So how did we get to this point? There was the combination of patient anaesthetic and systemic factors that lead to you standing next to your patient with a needle in hand, not absolutely confident that what you're about to do is safe. I intentionally misled you at the start of the video. I wanted to recreate the effect of the confirmation bias that we were under. We we're probably mistaken in thinking that this bright white line here was the fascia iliaca. In reality, it's probably just a really echogenic epimesium of the iliacus muscle. And that often creates the inferior border of the fascial plane that contains the nerve. The true fascia iliaca at that point was far more superficial. So it's worth going back and flicking through the early pre-scanning footage at the start of this video, knowing what you know now. And so in future, if you find yourself in that situation where you're standing about to do a block and you're not sure of the anatomy, you've got all those pressures on you. The only wrong option is to crack on and risk a nerve injury. If you haven't found the nerve and a safe path to it, then you have options. The only bad one of those options is going ahead and jamming a needle in and hoping for the best. You can abroad the procedure, you can bring them back another time, you can get a second pair of eyes for another opinion, you can change to a different block or a different approach.